Storm Team 27 Viper Radar. Heading into the night, we'll be watching our next storm system moving in our direction. It will bring a cold front through later in the day on Wednesday. With this cold front will come the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Now there's a lot of warmth across the lower Great Lakes region and that sticks with us for our Wednesday. In fact, high temperatures we may add a degree or two. I'm expecting the readings around 90. Plenty of moisture with dew points in the mid to upper 60s, close to 70 degrees. We'll keep that moisture for tomorrow. So when that cold front arrives, well, what you're looking at here is a model depiction of where there's energy in the atmosphere for thunderstorms to feed off of. These dark purples, almost pink shade here, that's where you have plenty of energy for thunderstorms. And you notice it's 6 o'clock. That's still into western moving into central Ohio. I expect storms tomorrow developing to our west and then moving in our direction through the evening. Now, when they arrive here, there's not going to be as much energy as what we'll be looking for into western in central Ohio. Still enough in place though to feed some of those storms and we'll have to keep a close watch on those. Any that can develop have the potential to be a little strong. Severe outlook for your Wednesday. We're in that level two of five category. This is the slight risk and what that means is that scattered strong to severe storms are possible in the areas shaded in yellow. It's a little lower of a risk in the green shade, but the timing of that will be the latter part of your Wednesday. Now, the primary concern storms capable of producing severe wind gusts or pockets of moderate to large hail. The tornado threat with this system low but not zero. We can't completely rule out an isolated rotating storm in the region. It's something that we'll be monitoring closely and again that threat is more so for the second half of the day. So future tracker we start things off in the morning. It will be a warm start when you step out the door feeling rather humid and we'll have plenty of sun through the morning. Much of the day Wednesday will be dry. We'll have that sunshine into the afternoon with highs around 90 degrees. Now moving into the evening, that's when things start to get a little more active. This is 9 o'clock on your Wednesday and watching those storms approaching from the west, that threat will linger into the late evening hours. So between about 8 p.m until about 2 a.m. Any storms that develop, well, they could be a little strong for us. Past 2 a.m., that threat for thunderstorms starts to come down. Your Thursday, we could still see a couple of showers or an isolated storm. That's during the afternoon, but it will not be a washout. We'll look for a little bit more sunshine. It will still be humid, and our highs Thursday, well, they drop a little bit closer to mid 80s. So 67, a few clouds around overnight. For your morning outlook, we'll see plenty of sunshine, that warm start when you step out the door and afternoon highs get up to 90 degrees. With the humidity that it will be in place, I expect it to feel a little warmer. Make sure you're staying hydrated during the afternoon. The evening, when that threat for storms starts ramping up for us, and that's where we'll have to keep a close watch on any thunderstorms that could be a little strong here. Thursday, not a washout either, but a couple of showers or an isolated storm possible and then watching the warmest parts of the day Friday, Saturday and Sunday as we heat up to the uh, upper 80s close to 90 degrees each day. Those afternoons could have a couple of hit or miss variety showers and storms. We'll see temperatures dropping a little bit on Monday looking for more wet weather with highs in the low 80s.